For this problem, we want to find the z-score for two values in the data set, and we want to see which one's the most extreme value. The value that's going to be the most extreme is the one that's furthest away from the mean. So what we're going to have to do is find out what the z-scores are for each one of these data values, and then that's going to help us determine how far it is away from the mean, how many standard deviations it is away from the mean. So for this problem, it says the tallest living man at one time had a height of 252 centimeters. The shortest living man at the time had a height of 124.9 centimeters. Heights of men at that time had a mean of 170.26 and a standard deviation of 7.55. Which of these two men had a height that was more extreme? So we need to find the z-scores for the height of each one of these uh, men. So we have a formula. We actually have to do this by hand. We can't use stack crunch for this. So the formula that we're going to use to convert these values into a z-score, we have z. This is equal to the data value minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So for the tallest man, that converts to a z-score of, so what was his height? It was 252 centimeters, so we have 252 minus the mean, which is 170.26, and then we divide it by the standard deviation, which is 7.55. Okay, so let's see what this gives us. So I have 252 minus 170.26, so I'm gonna have to subtract the numerators first, and then I'll go ahead and divide it by the standard deviation. So that gives me 81.74 divided by 7.5, which is going to be equal to, let's see, it says round to two decimal places, so this gives us 10.83. So now what this tells us, since this is a positive value, is the tallest man his height is 10.83 standard deviations above the mean. So now we'll do something similar for this, the shortest man. So we have, let's change his height into a z-score. So we have 124.9. This is how tall the shortest man was. So 124.9 minus 170.26. And we divide it by the standard deviation, which is 7.55. So once again, we have to subtract the numerators first. So we have 124.9 minus 170.26. That gives us negative 45.36. And then I go ahead and divide that by 7.55. This gives us a z-score of negative 6.01. So now since this z-score is negative, that tells us that the shortest man has a z-score that's 6.01 standard deviations below the mean. So let's go ahead and start filling this out. So the z-score for the tallest man, we figured out that was 10.83. And the z-score for the shortest man is negative 6.01. So the value that's furthest away from the mean would be the tallest man. Since this is 10.83 standard deviations above the mean, where the shortest man is 6.01 standard deviations below the mean. So the tallest man has a height that's more extreme. 